was lucky enough to get sent here. They said your commander died, and I needed to replace the missing man. What? Our commander is not dead. I'm our commander. And an excellent one at that, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, your commander died, and one of the troops is going to be promoted, and I was sent to replace the missing troop. Wait, well, what's this about a promotion? Sounds like command made some kind of mistake. I don't know, Sarge. I thought you said command never makes mistakes. That must mean you're dead. Seriously, what was the promotion thing? I'm sure I heard something about someone getting promoted. They said one of your troops would be promoted to replace your dead CO. One in particular? One like me? A maroon one? Hey, you're really scary. It's kind of hot. Sarge, I'm really sorry you died. Don't be stupid, Griff. How can I be dead if I'm standing right here? Well, if command was wrong about you dying, Sarge, couldn't they be wrong about other stuff, too? Like, like, what if the blues don't suck? <gasps> what if the blues are awesome? This changes everything! Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to pay our final respects to Sarge. But I was so young and violent! And that's what makes this so tragic. Yeah, that guy is definitely some kind of special forces. Probably trained in knives or ball kicking or something. Maybe he's an alien. An alien that looks just like the rest of us? And that is the scariest kind of alien. Why are you even here? It would be easier for me to just call random people on the phone and talk to them about this. They would understand the situation better. Ugh. <laughs> oh, well, look who's awake. What the fuck happened? Oh, well, uh, uh, as you may remember, uh, you were impregnated by an alien visitor who was on a noble mission to save his entire species from the- Can I get the short version of this? Yeah, you got knocked up, you got knocked out. Oh, right. I need to start working out. Lose this baby weight. Yeah, you know, we, we should all start working out, you know, uh, especially some of us. Yeah, some of us seem to have let ourselves go more than others. Are you guys talking about me? We, uh, didn't want to say anything. Yeah, that's why we said something. Fatty. Back off, guys. I've been under a lot of stress. I've been carrying this whole fucking team. Where'd you carry us? To the buffet? He said it. What are you guys doing up here anyway? What's that huge thing? That's church. He means the ship, Caboose. He said it. The Reds called in the ship and he landed on Donut. Now they've got new hardware and a new soldier. Who, that girl? What girl? That's a girl? Duh. The yellow one, right? The one talking to Simmons? Wow, you have really good eyes. I have to. I never get to use the fucking sniper rifle. You're positive that's a girl. How can you be sure? Dude, look who you're talking to. And now, Griff has asked to say a few things about our beloved Sarge. Hey everybody, it's great to be here. Well, what can I say about a guy like Sarge? I mean, besides, good riddance. Ho! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But seriously, Sarge lived a great life. And now that he's dead, our lives are pretty good too. Zing! <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Come on, is this a remembrance or a roast? Quiet in the front row. And I'm not asking, and he's not telling, but I heard when Donut first came to the base, Sarge spent a lot of time talking about glazed donut holes, if you know what I mean. hi -o! Too soon! Hey now. This is the worst funeral I've ever had. You losers better step up the cry and pronto. Oh, don't worry, sir. I've written a stirring speech that's sure to tug at everyone's heartstrings. Good to hear it. Now get with the eulogizing! On it, sir. And who can forget the time Sarge showed us all how to field strip Simmons? Okay, that's enough. I said five minutes, Griff. Bye, everybody. I'll be appearing at the Laugh Cavern every Tuesday. Ladies drink free. Woohoo! Not you! Aww. Okay, whatever. Get off! Hello, everyone. I'm here to say a few words about our friend, Sarge. Boo! You suck! Griff, get off the stage! Uh, sorry. Okay, like I was saying, I'm here to say a few words about Sarge. Boo! You suck! As you all know, Sarge was a magnificent leader, and he was a great inspiration to all his troops. <laughs> That's right. This is so emotional. Where's my hanky? He was a man of honor, discipline, and character. It's like he's saying what we're all thinking. If he was saying what I'm thinking, he'd be yawning. But perhaps his greatest accomplishment as a military man... Tell it! ...and a friend... Preach on! Preach on! ...was developing my considerable skills as a soldier and a leader. What? As you all know, Sarge's untimely demise leaves a gap in our command structure. A gap that is best filled by Sarge's right-hand man. A man that has a vision for the Red Team. Sarge, is, is he campaigning for your job at your funeral? Classy. The Red Army is faced with a difficult choice. The choice of who will lead us to glorious victory. Let's hope they choose a great candidate. A candidate whose armor is actually a shade of red. Sarge would have wanted it that way. Choose Simmons. It's the only thing Sarge did in life, so don't let his whole existence be in vain. In closing, somebody died. Vote for me. 
awesome speech! Is this the kind of thing you guys do all day? Pretty much. Just run with it. It's the only thing that keeps you from going insane from boredom. Yeah. Or we could raid the medical supplies for morphine. Yeah. Wait, what? Hey, sister, you're up! Awesome! Oh, 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 can I go again? I just thought of a swear word that runs with Kentucky. You couldn't even wait for me to be buried, could you? Your death was in the past, Sarge, and we need to look to the future. A future filled with Simmons. Hey, everybody. Um, I'm new here, and I didn't know Sergeant very well, but he was really old, and that's gross. <laughs> I wrote that line. Griff, let other people have the spotlight for once. Anyway, when you're old and gross, you're probably going to die, and that's kind of sad. But when you think about it, all your friends are probably dead, too. And if they're not, then they're definitely old, and knowing old people is even sadder than being dead. So, anyway, whatever. Peace out. This is a miserable excuse for a ceremony. Where's the flag folding? Where's the 21-gun salute? Sir, the flag is an important part of our inventory. We can't just go around having impromptu foldings because we feel like it. And I was in charge of the 21-gun salute. Unfortunately, we don't have 21 guns. So you'll have to settle for what I call the double-bun salute. It starts in just a few moments. <sighs> I'll just get in my grave now. I'm blue, I'll be blue.